And, and I think as a professional, you have to be able to carry yourself and conduct yourself in the right way and understand, you know, we have the same goal. No matter who's here, I think if you come a part of this organization, you're here to help build this and win us a championship. And I think that's everybody's mindset, no matter who you are when you come. So I think that's really our goal right now is really it starts here in Wofford. we got to build and we got to work hard and uh, see where we're going to towards the season. A lot of NFL teams drafted? have gotten away from, from doing camp like this where they leave their home city. Do, do you think this is good for a team that the Panthers continue to come to Wofford? Well, there's a, there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, I mean, I think obviously uh, being Mr. Richardson's home, um, I mean, this, is, this does a lot for the community and the businesses around. Um, but also what it does for us as a team and an organization, um, it, it builds the camaraderie that you need. I think, uh, you know, Sean McDermott used to always say it, it's the teams that come together the fastest and stay together the longest are the ones that usually succeed. And I think that's what Spartanburg, it really kind of resembles and, and really starts us is that chemistry building process because really you're surrounded by yourself and your teammates all day long. And, and it's those teams and the, and the type of uh, teams that really get to know each other and care for each other on a deeper level than just on the field are the ones that truly succeed. Kurt, you addressed him, so some other players uh, get them inspiring, but is this a situation, as you mentioned, you're, you are professionals. Did you guys discuss this at all, maybe amongst yourselves, or is it now just about you know, getting back on the field? Well, I, I think, you know, when you see, you know, your, you know, some, you know, to your teammates working out, you know, you can talk about it a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, there's only so much you can control. And I definitely don't have that type of pay grade to go up there and do that. So I think, really, I, I think, um, you know, Mr. Richardson's going to put the right people in place for us to succeed. And now it's our job with the, you know, the pieces that we have. We have to make the most of it. And I'm excited with this, with this new regime, um, you know, and I think the players are and our teammates are. We're excited with what we have. And, he, you know, we have to expect nothing but the best out of Marty to give us the right pieces. If someone goes down or we need another transaction, he's, he's got to be able to give us the right people. And I expect nothing but the best from him. Kurt, was there like a text chain last week when the news first went down? I mean, how would you hear about it? I think so, whoever broke it, the, the news first is how I, you know, um, I heard about it the same way everyone else did. Um, you know, I didn't get an email ahead of time. It was just, uh, I think, something between, um, you know, Gettleman and, and, and the powers that be. Uh, and I think, like I said, um, you know, I wish him nothing but the best and for what he's been able to do, but I'm excited for the new regime and uh, what's to come uh, for the Panthers. Because you're a veteran that uh, Gettleman, you just mentioned, did a lot for, can you kind of help maybe soothe over any hurt feelings for some of the younger guys who were brought here by Gettleman that might try to have to get over this a little bit? Well, you're a professional. You better be able to get over it pretty quickly. And, and the great thing is, you know, um, you know, whoever it was, they brought you here for a reason. They believed in you, and you can never stop believing in what you're able to do and your abilities, and now it's your time. This is the time to go out there and shine and really perform and put your talents out there. You know, and I think the one thing that for the rookies or the younger guys that always need to know is when you're performing on uh, the preseason, you're not just performing for your own team. You're performing for all 32 teams in the NFL, and you got to put your best film forward. And I think that's the great thing about this league is, you know, there's somebody out there that's going to like you. You just have to go out there and show them. Kurt, how anxious are you to put last year, get that sour taste out of your mouth, put that behind you guys? Well, it, I'm not, uh, you know, last year is last year, and I'd be remiss, remiss to say that I didn't learn a lot from last year, and I don't think, I think we all have as a team and an organization. I'm excited for what we have here, and I think I've been saying that since actually the end of last year. Is I'm excited for 2017. Um, you know, I've been, we, I can say this. Everybody has been working really hard. That has been the, the best thing that I've seen is the type of mindset that we've taken ever since we came back together in, uh, in April. We had the law break, but you see, you know, on the Panthers' Instagram takeovers or even just, you know, several players that you follow, the, the type of work that they're putting in, you know, TD's putting in two times a day, um, and he's just one of many. So I think the great thing is everybody's been working really hard, and now it's about staying healthy, um, building that chemistry as we move forward, and getting ready for this preseason and then the following the season. Sure, how much more better guys. do you think this secondary can be this year than it was last year? What was the four? I, I missed. How much better, better do you um, think the secondary can be? Well, we, we have to be better. Um, that, that's that's the bottom line. We have to be be able to complement our front line and, and the linebackers. But I, I truly believe we have taken those steps forward. And now when you add Mike Adams, captain. Um, you know, those guys bring so much to the team. You know, the veteran leadership, the experience factor, the work ethic, and now with Daryl, Zach, James. I mean, these guys have really come along, and they're going to be many vets. Um, and I told them, you know, before we broke, that they had to take on a leadership role. Even though it's their second year, you have to be able to grow up and mature and not play like a rookie anymore. You can't act like a rookie. You can't prepare like a rookie. You are a veteran, so let's act like it. Let's play like it. At the same time, those younger guys have their own goals. Was it important for you, being that veteran presence, to kind of have some expectations hey, set for that for them too, of your own? 
Well, without a doubt, but I think um, we all have the same mindset. I think um, we have a bus, metaphorically speaking, and our bus is driving in the one direction, and that's to be the best. You know, within that bus, you have your own little driver, so James may want to be the best corner in the league. You know, he has his own goal set within that, but we all have the same mindset as being the best group.